This Fleet Equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hi everyone, Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment. Welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted. We are at ATA MCNE 2022. And we have Peterbilt behind us. Clearly, there's a lot going on here at this booth. We got autonomous, we got super truck, we got an electric truck. Uh, so we're going to check in with Jake White, Peterbilt, uh, who's going to give us a tour around the booth. Tell us about the latest and greatest going on with them. So come along and let's see what we can learn. All right, Jake, so what do we have? Oh, we're going to start with the autonomous truck because, I mean, this is quite a booth you have here uh, this cool. year. I think this is, I, look, I have to say, I think it's probably one of the coolest lineups that you guys have had at a show in a while. So excited to learn about it. Take me through the autonomous truck here. What do we got? Yeah, for sure. So our whole philosophy was around uh, highlighting some of our advanced technologies. And uh, like you said, we'll start with the autonomous truck here. So this is a Model 579 Ultra Law, yep. equipped with a full pack R powertrain like you'd see going down the road um, every day. Yep. Well, what's special about this truck is it's equipped with the latest autonomous sensor suite from our partner Aurora. And that allows the truck to have a near 360 degree view of the world around it. Right, right, um, okay. Some key points, some interesting pieces of the uh, sensor suite is yep. the first light radar on the roof. It can see about a quarter mile up the road okay. and map all that out so it knows where the truck is going. It's also equipped with near range pods at the front of the truck here in the bumper. As well as on either side. And each one of those pods includes LiDAR, radar, okay. and cameras. As okay. well as the uh, ability to clean itself. Oh yeah. Okay, well, hold on. I want to check out. But yeah, the camera's right under there, huh? That's super cool. Okay, so what do you mean clean itself? Well, there's a lot of road debris sure. and road spray and some of those other things. And so it's got the ability to spray off fluid oh, okay. to clean itself. Oh, that's super cool. Hydrophobic coatings and all those Oh, nice. Things. Very cool. Well, cool our to plan is to, to set this up as integrated as possible. And I think a great example of that is the mid-range wing pods above both doors. Mm -hmm. Nicely integrated into the styling of the truck and also the aerodynamics of the truck. Yeah. A lot of the early demonstrator trucks had um, you know, large structures that housed the, right, the LIDARs and um, we've been able to work a lot in the computational fluid dynamics to really smooth out the airflow around the truck. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Well, I, I imagine it provides some pretty good protection then too. I mean, everyone, one of the talking points is LIDAR, sensitive instruments on the road. You want to protect them as much as possible. So this looks very cool. Absolutely. <laughs> so this is a prototype test vehicle, right? That's right. Okay, and the idea is that with the partnership with Aurora, this will be down the line oh, available. We're already testing trucks. Right, right. You know, we're running trucks in Texas. Right. Um, between Houston and Dallas okay. and out west as well. well. So we've got real world applications going right now. Going back to the integration though, this is kind of what will be available from the factory floor when it's ready for prime time, or, or at least a, a, a look at what it could look like, I'll right? I'll say this is an early look okay. at what we intend for the factory integrated solution to be. Yeah, very cool. Let me just kind of walk around here a little bit. This looks great. Very cool. All right, are you ready to talk super truck? Because there's another eye-catching truck over here. Yeah, I'm in, let's do it. This looks awesome. Let's do it. So, um, this is Peterbilt's second foray into the super truck. This is our super truck two. You might recall our super truck one. Yep. Big fanfare years ago. Took a lot of that development work into the uh, model 579 right. on highway efficiency. And uh, similar, similar story here where we're exploring technologies that will one day find their way into production yeah. solutions. What will you say if the um, so this, this particular Super Truck 2 is a partnership between the Department of Energy, Cummins, and Peterbilt, as well as Great Dane, who developed a special trailer for this tractor that's not shown here, right. um, and a variety of other industry partners. Okay, okay. And you, those, you had those partners on the first Super Truck as well, I believe, right? You bet. Cummins and Great Dane. Yeah, it's a great so industry. So continuing that partnership. We, we are. Very yeah, they've cool. been great partners and excellent to work with. 
So, uh, and you mentioned that a lot of the technology from the Super Trek 1 made its way into the updated Model 579, and it's kind of how this has been. These are kind of test beds for, for cool technologies that are maybe a couple years out. You can throw some R&D into them, develop them, and wait for till they're ready for uh, to really prove out that ROI. What are the big kind of standout features here or technologies that you've invested in in this truck to, to get it where it needs to be? Yeah, I think there's a few things that come to mind. First of all is the advanced diesel mild hybrid powertrain system. Okay. Um, that, that's one area where we've invested quite a bit. Cummins has invested a lot to really explore that technology and see where it can take us. There's also, I think maybe elephant in the room, is the uh, unique cab shape. Mm -hmm. uh, central drive has allowed us to um, kind of be a game changer in terms of aerodynamics and what we could do in that realm. Also allowed us to explore some ergonomics in the cab from a driver comfort perspective. You know, it's a Peterbilt, it's a premium product, all the sleeper amenities in there. Right, right, yeah, but you got that cool curved windshield, right? That's super cool. You got the sleek, uh, I always say, I don't know, camera mirrors, camera system, right? Yeah. Because they aren't mirrors. Yeah, it's I didn't a replacement. That, did I? Right. Well, and we we saw that, you know, when we came out and saw the new Model 579 that's integrated in the mirror, mirrors. If we could just get those mirrors off the trucks and then the camera system in there. There's a big aerodynamic right. savings right there. Right. Yep, and this truck is, is set up with it. Let me see if I Yeah. Probably don't want me climbing around, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reach in here. Send you some info. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's super cool. Oh, I like the center, uh, the centering position then on the uh, on the driver's seat. Though. Yeah, put them right in the center. I didn't notice that from staying out of here, right? Well, and uh, you know, to your credit, you guys had that design first, but the, it was the wave vehicle. Though, that's right. right? Yeah, the wave yeah, vehicle, because that wasn't part of the super truck, but that was just a cool concept you did, and I think Great Dane made a bit involved in that yeah, one too. So. And, um, some other industry partners. Right. Very cool. Going back to the, you called it a mild hybrid. That's right. Okay, so can you are the, can you share any details of what the system is? What is the hybrid hybridization of this powertrain? Yeah, I can. It's a 48 volt battery powered um, hybrid. Okay. Obviously. And it hooks to the back of the transmission and puts more power into the powertrain. Awesome. Also has um, E auxiliaries like uh, electric power steering, okay. electric HVAC, um, and then a few other systems run off of that 48 volt. Super cool. So, do you have a miles per gallon per gallon estimate? that you have on well, this? This is, this is the exciting part. So we're in the middle of testing right now. We pulled the truck out of testing to come show it to okay. the group here at ATA. Cool. And uh, there's a very exciting show in January of next year yep. focused around technology where we expect to announce the results of the final test. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to hear all about it. Well, we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think we have uh, one of your electric trucks over here, right? We do. Let's, Let's take, take a look. A look. So, this is our Model 579 EV. It's set up for port, uh, drayage, regional haul applications, really targeted for those key niche places where we're, we're ready for electrification today. Right. Um, it's got a 400 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Okay. Which is what's important about that is it's really long lasting battery technology. Right. Uh, based on our experience, we expect it to live up to 10 years. Right. In, in regular operation right okay it's a key differentiator right yeah a lot of early conservative estimates and some others kind of put it around the eight year range you're looking at 10 years here as a kind of baseline well it really depends on what battery chemistry yeah. you're using for your product uh, we've chosen the most uh, long-lasting enduring craftsmanship is yeah. the Peterbilt brand for sure. uh, value so. and it's been I want to say Gosh, the pandemic throws it out, but I think I feel like it's been about two years since you opened orders for uh, the EVs. How has that rollout been? It's been two years later. How are customers adopting to it? What are you doing uh, working with them in the field and, and growing the technology? I can tell you there is no fleet that we don't have EV conversations. Oh, wow. I mean, everyone is aware of yeah. what's coming or interested in what's coming and wants to ensure that their, uh, their fleet is in the right place for yeah. that. And uh, so we've, we've been rolling out production units and installing chargers from back our parts. Right. And uh, have a good, good glide path to achieve the, the strong regulations that are coming up here. I think Peterbilt is positioned as well or better than any OEM with the widest EV lineup. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Well, hey, great catching up with you. Always fun, thanks for taking the time. Enjoyed it.